Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. Uh, what the fuck? Hey, Beetle, rise and shine! Jesus! <laughs> Marty, stop fucking yelling, will you? My head's killing me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Joey. Stop calling me fucking Joey. What the hell's wrong with you? Pedo, come on down! Jesus Christ. No sheets for the bed? That's nice. I wonder what would happen if I could just go down there like this. Something popped up. What was it? Open the window, grab some food or drinks. We don't need to do that. I always look through there like I'm expecting to find something new. I don't know why. Okay, I think we can go out now. Um, this way. I feel like there should be like a window on that door or something. Who the hell was that? Guy's got a voice like Woody fucking Woodpecker. That was Marty. Remember the little kid you slipped down the street from me? I had to pick up the truck here, so he gave me a lift. What's going on with the truck? It's gonna make us some nice cash. Hop in. I'll explain on the way. You drive. Where to? Riverside. All right, Riverside it is. Some night, huh? Yeah, you could say that. What? You ain't still mad, are you? Nah, burying a stiff. That's the first thing I wanted to do when I got out. Hey, come on. You had fun at the cat house, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Thank you for that. But, uh, oh, everything geez. between then and now, not so much. All right, all right. Well, listen, today's gonna be a lot better, I promise. I sure as hell hope so. I'm going the wrong way. How far are we going? Okay, so we're going up there. So what's the deal? Simple. We just gotta go to a couple of places and unload these smokes. Then we bring the truck back to Eddie and get our cutter to take. Piece of cake. Wait. It ain't gonna be that easy. I seem to remember getting thrown in the clink for a piece of cake just like this. Don't worry, I done this before. First stop, Riverside. If you say so. Trust me, you're gonna thank me later. It ain't gonna be that easy. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, this thing is horrible. This thing drives like a tank. In a good way, though. I mean, like, I would assume a truck like this would drive this horrible. In real life, so, like, I think they did a good modeling here of it. So easy to just kind of lose the back end 
They carry a little too much speed, get on the brakes, and then just start fighting the rear end. The driving physics from the first game and this one are ones that I feel like I could really have fun with on a wheel. Because these cars just drive so uniquely. Okay, it looks like we're going to go right down here. What now? Now we take care of our customers. These guys here buy in bulk from us. Come with me. Okay, climb up and hand me the goods. Hi, one carton of reds. Hand me a carton of reds, Vito. Bingo. Here. Hey, good to see you. I'm all out of smokes. Give me a carton of blues. One carton of blues, Vito. Bingo. Did he just go through the box with his hand? Here it is. Yes. Yes, he did. A few hours later, the police are going to show up, ain't they? Yup. What the fuck? Hey, Sarge, how you doing? Caught in the blues as usual? I think I'll take the whites this time. Yeah, that Vito. Let's go. Caught no whites. All right. Hand it over. So. Thanks, Joe. Now get the hell out of here, will you? Okay. The cops like on go. our side, in, then Next I guess. Stop is Millville. It's going great today. We're making some serious dough here. Some of these, like, animations are just long. I don't know if that's just me and, like, just being antsy. Trying to move on to the next thing. But, like, them paying for their... Oh! Yeah. That was dicey. And, like, paying for their cigarettes to, to get to the next thing. That was just really long. So the kid Mark, he works for Eddie too. <laughs> In his dreams, kid's not even 18 yet. He does jobs for me, drives me around, makes deliveries, that sort of stuff. Thinks he's a gangster though. Spends too much damn time at the movies. Well, if the kid's got you for a role model. He's in for a lot of trouble. Oh yeah, wise guy. He reminds me a lot of you when you was his age. Exactly. And I spent two years dodging bullets in Europe and six years in the can since I met you. That's what I mean by trouble. What's the matter? Somebody shit in your coffee this morning? It's like you forgot about all the good times. Yeah, remind me of those someday, would you? Um, hopefully we ain't gotta outrun the cops, because this thing ain't gonna do it. This big old tank ain't gonna get it done. See, what did I tell you? It's going like butter today. Right. We've only it's been to one place. For last night. Almost. Come on, what's better than this? You got fresh air, good company, and you're making a shitload of dough. Not too bad for a guy who just got out of the slam. All right, all right. Listen, if the next few hours are anything like the last few hours, all's forgiven. There's the veto I know. All right, we'll be there in a sec. This place looks a little too exposed. The road's like just straight behind us. Hey, 
Hey, oh yeah, yeah, it's over there the though now. Give There's me a another road. The blues. They're just like very exposed out here. Yeah, I don't know if I'm reading too much into it or what. So, yeah, this whole sequence is just yeah. really long. Take a box of reds. Cotton of reds, Vito. Yeah, that's the one. There it is, sir. You're welcome. Come again. This don't look good. you selling Mac you're buying or just window shopping maybe we're selling smokes two bucks a carton hundred bucks a crate I'll make you a deal you fuck over ten cartons and maybe we'll let you and your buddy get out of here in one piece maybe I'll put pal, a couple holes in you get back in your cute little car with your little friends there and I'll pretend I never seen you sound good <laughs> you don't get it do you you fat motherfucker this is our turf and it's gonna cost you to operate here now pay up. You're the one who doesn't get it. You have any idea who you're talking to? One last chance. You walk away now and... Yeah, I'll tell you who I'm talking to. A fat two-bit fucking Dago door-to-door -door salesman hocking stolen cigarettes on my turf. And it's time to close up shop, asshole. Okay, boys. I think it's time for a fire sale. Shit. Joe! Oh, fuck. <laughs> what do you say now, Porky? Who do I gotta say? That's what I got. Come on, hop in that car and let's go. All right, let's get one of these fucks and teach him a lesson. Okay. Step on it, Vito. He's getting away. I got it floored, Joe. This thing won't go any faster. Problem is, these cars are so easy to wreck. But yes, to the point, his point, I have it floored. Oh, yeah, it's super like there. The back end just, it, it wants to step out. The tires just can't handle the, the amount of forces that are being asked of them. It's... Ah, shit. Now what? Shit. We should check in with Eddie. Stop at the nearest phone booth to call him. Okay, hey, where's phone booth? Is he gonna like come up on here or? Do I have to go find it? Um, but now it's saying like the tires, they just, they just can't take the, the, um, they're, they're just breaking the grip level of the, the, the forces, the speed we're carrying through those corners. So, we do gotta go to a phone booth, I see one right over there. Wrong button. That's for Far Cry. Here it is. me, Vito. Listen, we got a problem. We were moving the smokes, and then these, uh, these greases came out of nowhere and set the fucking truck on fire. What? You fucking kidding me? You couldn't handle 
a bunch of grease balls? What the fuck happened? Look, look, Eddie, Eddie, hey, listen, it's not our fault, okay? They set the fucking truck on fire before we knew what was happening and everything burned up. All right, we popped one of the guys, but... What do I fucking care? Just bring me my money. I paid two grand for that truck, and I want it back. Lucky for you two retards, I got Derek's guy Steve here with me. And we were just talking about what to do with those punks. We're gonna take care of them now. Steve will meet you at the Crazy Horse. You know it? Okay, Crazy Horse, yeah, I know where it is. Steve's gonna have a few guys with him. Show him that nobody fucks with us. No shooting, though, so it looks like just another gang fight. I don't want to read about a bloodbath in the papers tomorrow. All right, sure, Eddie. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. No shooting. Yeah, Steve in front of the crazy horse. You're Good taking away my fun. Someone took my door off. All too grand of it. Shit. Let's take this car, You really then. think we're going to get two Gs out of these guys? I don't know. We'll see what Steve's got in mind. You know he ain't doing this out of the kindness of his heart. Let's go. Definitely will look like the window is already down on this car. Oh, Eddie was fucking pissed on the phone. Sure he was. Just like I'm pissed right now. Even if these assholes ain't got a dime, I'm gonna kick $2,000 worth of shit out of them. I'm with you. But what's Steve doing working for Eddie? He works for Derek, and Derek's with Vinci's crew. How the hell should I know? But hey, you're still gonna take jobs from Derek, right? Even though you're working for Eddie, we all gotta do what we gotta do to get by. But what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Driving like Relax, an idiot. Will you? Take your fucking foot off the accelerator. Oh, what? Wait, where were, where were we supposed to turn? I saw we had a turn coming up right here, but I missed the, the, the road. Hey, Steve. Hey. Hey, guys. Artie? What are you doing here? Hey, Joe. I'm going with you on this one. Steve needed help. He said I could come along. Steve, uh, isn't this... Yeah. Uh... Kids gotta learn sometime. Okay, why are we here, Steve, huh? The guys we're looking for are all headed to the foundry. This is where they usually meet, so we'll start here, then head over to the foundry to finish the job. And, uh, why'd you volunteer to help us? Those bastards trashed my cousin's car. They robbed him and knocked out three of his teeth. Yeah, those fucking assholes. They make problems all over the city. What'd you Shut say up, today? kid. I'm talking here. So, like the Bible says, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And, well, we'll just start with this joint. So what's the plan? First, we're gonna trash this place. And how are we gonna do that? With this. Go ahead, boys. Hey, come I on, thought guys. no bullets. Now you can either help us or stay out of our way. <laughs> Let's go teach these fuckers a lesson. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> That's fucking beautiful! I thought we weren't supposed to be using bullets. Oops. Is anyone in there? They are, I'm pretty sure they're dead. Okay, that's enough. Let's leave them a little present. Vito, Marty, I got some Molotov cocktails in the trunk. Go get them and throw them in. <laughs> My pleasure, Steve. waiting for grab the bottle and chuck it in it ain't that hard 
Do I gotta do another one? I already did one. Better teach them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Now we go to the foundry. Hello. Get in, boys. We'll meet you two at the main gate. See you there. Which are there? I don't know if there was any ammo around there or something. I thought about going back to check as I was pulling out. My game is stuttering really bad. I mean, I'm at like 15 FPS. I think, like, I, think I saw it dip down to like 18 and it shouldn't be that low. I don't know what's going on. Seems to be better now. How'd you get in here? Follow the fucking yellow brick road. <laughs> Next. <laughs> nice one. Batter up. You fuckers are dead. Joe, watch out. Thanks, kid. Shit, they got guns. Let them have it. I'm going in. Here we go. Don't be so gentle, boys. I'll cover you moving. Oh, that's too bad to be back. Got you now. Hey, asshole. Try not to. Is he good? Is he good? Stuff. I think he's good. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> we got him now. Dead. Okay, I see you. I see you. Someone up here, I think. Where is he? Run, you're so slow. No, that's not where I wanted you to go. I got this guy up here. Right, that that guy. I thought I already got him. He's still alive. Suck on this, asshole. <laughs> back me up, Vito. Cover my back. All right, Shit, let's go. Go, go, go. Scared asshole. Come out of your hole, you fucking rat. Man, they keep getting off. Take a shot. Hurry up here. Got you covered. Move. See you in hell, asshole. Okay, I think he's down for the count. Hey, everything all right over there? The guy up here, I think. Two, come on. Unless that was just ricochets I was seeing. Might be ricocheting. Um. 
I'm stuck back here. Oh jeez. Don't run in front of me when I'm shooting. Let's go, Vito. You're dead. The guy further back. Come on, where are you? Way to get you. Okay, we got one on each side now. Come on. Stay sharp, Vito. Okay, I see you, I see you, I see you. Come on, pop it up again. Like right up where I am. That guy. I knew there was someone. You okay? Okay. There's still one more guy, I thought. Okay, there's a bunch in there. Is there any more ammo out here? I don't really think there's anything else. Looks like there's a lot of guys in there, though. That's where I was going to go.
cover me. That's the fucking best you got. Oh, you're in trouble. I'll come here moving. I'm back. You okay? We'll get him. Stay sharp, you know. Next bullet's got your name on it. Stay in cover, dum dum. Hey, asshole, try not to die till the fight's over. Oh, please, I see. I thought I picked up some rifle ammo. Okay, you down. can't go when I'm getting hit all the way back here. There's no obvious place to move up to. We can kind of come around on him. On the side, I got... Ah, you moved. Don't move on me. That's not nice. I want one gotcha. On your bad side. I'm going in. Okay, I see go, you. Nice. I didn't think I'd get that. Where's the guy I shot over here? I got you covered, Vito. So we gotta come around right, here. Here we go. And they're good. can I move up to? Come out where I can see you, asshole. I don't think the AI like will Over move if you get into a spot missed, where they asshole. are. Recover. They'll move somewhere else. I don't I don't see anyone. No, 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 no. I see you, I see you. Boom! I don't see you no more. There's someone right over here. On the other side of this thing, I think. Nope, he's. Right up here, though. I'm gonna find you, you prick bastard. See you again. down. Like the bastard. 
Where is he? There he is. Eat lead, asshole. All right, showtime beat up. Hey, what's going on? Talk to me. Got ya. How far back do I have to go? It's not terrible, but... This whole thing here is really weird. The way that camera goes through the building. Can't go around there. Really? Oh, jeez. Can't even see where he's at.
Good. Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. Way to go, Vito. <clears throat> Oh, shit. Come out of your hole, Oi. you fucking rat. Stay sharp, Vito. All right, Vito. Go, go, go. I'm going in. Way to get you. Go, go, go. Okay, we got any more ammo? Cover me, asshole. You hit me. Is there any health around here too? Okay, I don't remember if you were there before or not, but it doesn't really matter. You're dead now. I don't really understand the health bar. It looks full, but now it's like it's like yellow. I don't think it's like all the way full. But I feel like it doesn't get all like it doesn't really go down. He keeps coming out of cover. You scared asshole? You're on fire and you're still alive? Are you serious? for this guy to come out again unless y'all killed him. Hey asshole, try not to die till the fight's over. Take a lot more than that. He's good, that's what I thought. Alright Vito, here we go. Like you go into a, a cover spot, they'll like move. I was saying before. You okay? Nah, just graze me. Kill him. Go. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I couldn't get to the right cover I wanted. <laughs> we got him now. Eat lead, asshole. You're still alive, man. I don't know if that was a headshot, but it was pretty it would have been a pretty brutal injury i can't quite get that guy okay that first one wasn't a headshot the second one should have been come on no yeah bring it on cheese See what, maybe three guys left? 
I can't quite get that guy. They're running. They're running. They have more. Okay. Oh, I can't fucking believe it. A guy over here. It looks like that's where he's shooting. There's a vehicle over there. Dude's still alive. Kill him already. Way to go, Vito. Come on, think of something. Hurry up here. Oh, that's the best you got. No, 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 no. Keep messing him. I come out, he's gonna get me. But if I can get this guy, I can come around. Can I get this guy? You ain't got it. There we go. Come out of your hole, you fucking rat. Hey, hey asshole. Like Try not bastard. to die till the fight's over. I'm going in. Cover my back. Oh, go right over there. Why? Let's go, Vito. One more like that. He's dead. Come on. Held that health back up. Oh, jeez. There we go. Some for me, asshole. Still alive. There we go. Hey, one more, I think. And he's shooting me, though. Not sure where he's at. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. Man, you're a terrible fucking shot. What are you doing? Really? Let's go. Hurry up and kill him. There we go. There more? That was everyone. There's no one else on the map. Um, okay. Uh, 
That's he's good. What are we? Okay, we're just Listen, up here. This got way out of hand. He said, "Kill him." Happy. That he'll be fine. What are we gonna do? Just let him kill us? These fucking dirtbags won't be bothering nobody. No more. What now, Steve? Now I'm gonna go home and see if that castor oil's working. I've been blocked up for weeks. I'll see you later. Joy, Joe and I still got a lot of work to do. We'll catch you later. Shit, where are we gonna get the two G's for ready? You got any idea how much a car like this goes for? Damn, Vito, you're a genius. These babies ain't cheap, right? I bet Derek would give us at least a grand for that one. All right, I'm gonna drive this baby over to Derek's. I'll meet you back at the fountain. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you at the bar. Okay, Man. so it was weird because he's like, kill him after we had killed everyone. So I figured there was like, I don't know. Are these cars street legal or am I gonna. This is gonna be like, um. The first game with the race car. Where are we going? Okay, all the way down to the port. We're going quite a far away. Okay, we are here. So we have to go go see Eddie. Okay, we are here. Let's get out of the middle of the street. So... Do we get in here? No. It's going to be the this place here. So, is the money well, that's a fucking relief. Stupid fucking junkies. Now they know their place. Good work, boys. Here's your cat. Thanks, Eddie. So, you need anything else from us today, or is that it? I got something I gotta take care of. No, 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 that's all for today. I'll call you if I need anything. Okay. And so this is gonna be to go home. So we can just save and basically end the chapter. If I can figure out how to get out of here. Arrivederci. And that's not it. Hello, won't you please come in, sir? Huh? Is it? Yeah. The, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
in the car. Okay, we are here. So let's go to our apartment. situation here. Grab a gun and meet me at the bar, and make sure you're driving a decent set of wheels. All right. I'll be right there. There goes my Sunday. What's going on? Weapons are not allowed here. That's nice. Up, police. Listen, we know you're in there. This is the police! Open up! Hey, fellas. What's going on? This doesn't concern you, pal. I just want to ask you some questions. If you don't open the door, we're going to open it up for you. So open up! This is the police! This is your last warning! Open the goddamn door! They don't seem to care. Open up, police. You already said it was the last warning. Listen, we know you're in there. I talked to her, no, but I can apparently walk on her. This is the police. Open up. This is the car we should really be taking. Um, hot rod. I want to see something here though, real quick. Okay, so let's. Go get some ammo here first. Okay. At the gun shop here. Are you looking to buy a gun or you just need some ammo? <laughs> gun ain't much without some ammo. Okay. Looks like you know your hardware. Anything else I can do you for? So... Don't be a dumbass. I still don't have any ammo for that. They don't have any. It's weird.
Okay, well, we got a reasonable amount of ammo. I still would have liked Tommy gun ammo. But we'll have to make do. Okay, we are here. Morning, Eddie. Hey, Vito. I'd like to introduce you to somebody. Vito, this is Carlo Falcone. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Falcone. Vito? So, Vito, how do you feel about Alberto Clemente and Luco Gorino? Well, honestly, Mr. Falcone, the way I see it, those assholes tried to steal 5,000 bucks from me and then left me to rot in jail. That's good. Because the two of them are planning to make a move on us. So it looks like we're going to have to do something before they do something. Eddie will tell you the rest. I'm sure you won't let me down. Goodbye, Mr. Falcone. Nice to meet you, Vito. So what the hell's going on? A car with three of our guys in it disappeared last night. And word around town is that Luca might have had something to do with it. Who's missing? Harvey Beans and the two guys who were supposed to be protecting him Tony Balls and Frankie the mm -hmm. Mick. Yeah. Beans is Carlo's accountant. If he talks, we're all fucked. What do you need me to do? I need you to wait for him in front of Freddy's and follow him to find out if he's involved. And then? If you find out that he had anything to do with this, you whack the bastard. And if any of our guys is still alive, try and rescue him. Hopefully you can find him before they spill the beans about our operation. Where do you think he'll go? I got no idea. So go prepared. Make sure you've got a fast car and some firepower. All right, no problem. Okay, stop by here when you're done. And Vito, don't tell nobody about this. Got it. Okay. Hello, hello. Come in, come in. Un cafe coming up, sir. There we go. Health is all Come back good now. Concept. Okay, it's already marked. This is Lucas' car. Now, where are you, Luca? There you are. Okay, here we go. Shouldn't get too close. I gotta make sure Luca doesn't see me. like this. Did he go... Yeah, he went straight. It's a junkyard, I figured he... 
went in there, but it didn't look like it. Clementi Slaughterhouse, of course. Looks like Eddie was right. Okay, you gotta get in there without being seen. Get in there. What is that? So I'm worried about this guy up here. He disappeared apparently. Oh, it was this guy. Come on, you little baby. Okay, that didn't go the way I wanted it to. I can't let anybody see me until I find out what happened to our guys. How do I get in there then? That's the way in. Really? Looks like I can pry this off. Jesus Christ, that reeks. Well, it is a sewer. You were the one that wanted to come down here. Why am I doing this alone, though? Like, give me some help. I assume there's gonna be a bunch of people in here. Shit, that dog could be a problem. Stop by to pick up some steaks. I'm gonna kill somebody. This reminds me of the uh, prison part from uh, the first game, though. And there's the dog. Would you shut up? 
What, is somebody there? There's nobody there, oh, see? Oh, shut up before we turn you into meatloaf. Lousy mutt. Shit, there they are. Now I got you, you skinny little prick. So, what am I supposed to do? Okay, time to move. Is there anyone out there? I don't think so. Yes, uh, left bumper. How do I... do a stealth takeout? I guess I can't. So, what exactly is my objective here? Am I supposed to, like, kill everyone? Save you. Okay. Hey, you know that guy works over... They're talking. How am I supposed to do that? Hey, don't spend all day out here, huh? I don't want to do this by myself. Just having one fucking smoke. Relax. Yeah, I heard that one before. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I wasn't sure if I still had to remain quiet. The problem is... Because it's like... It, it said to remain quiet before this part. But how am I supposed to take these two guys out up here? Just having one fucking smoke. Relax. Yeah, heard that one before, pal. Oh. Oh. I see. Hey, what was that screaming? 
pigs must have squealed. What? Yeah, nah, that was no pig. <laughs> that sounded like... You got shit in your ears. That was a pig. Just ignore So, uh, you still thinking about quitting? Are you new around here or what? Yeah, probably next month. Fuck up and get back to work. That ain't gonna be the only What are you gonna do then? Okay, okay. I was thinking of maybe, you know, becoming a voice actor. Oops, I didn't want to go that way. Let's keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Shift's over. What do you mean, shift's over? You got shit in your ears? I said you're done for today. But I ain't done pounding the beefsteak. Don't make me say it again. Shift's over. Get the hell out of here. All right, fine by me. Damn straight. Let's go. Be right there. I know where you got the money. Falcone thinks he's got a good racket going, but he ain't gonna get away with it. Come on, how'd you get it into the States? I don't know anything. I'm just an accountant. Don't fuck with me, you egghead bastard. You wanna end up just like your buddy here? Come on, take a good look. You think you're tougher than him? After we're done with you, we're gonna grind you up in one of these machines here. <laughs> It's it's just a question of whether I'm gonna be nice enough to fucking kill you first. <laughs> hey, what's that fucking stench? Oh. Hey, hey, somebody's Drop over him. there. Hey, who the fuck are you supposed to be? Jesus Christ! What what is Captain Shitbag here to save the day? Shut the fuck up, Luke. <laughs> I know you. You're the chump who was hanging around with that moron, Barbaro. I thought you were still rotting in the can. What the fuck you think you're doing here? Falcone sent me. He isn't too fond of skinny little cocksuckers trying to turn his guys into mincemeat. So, you joined up with Falcone, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you knew what was really going on, you'd realize that you was better off in jail. But that don't matter now anyway. <clears throat> Man, he won't dodge. I get. You have been killed, of course I have, because he won't dodge. I. This whole dodge thing, it's stupid. He doesn't do it half the time. Come on, break his fucking neck, Sammy. Yep, don't dodge again. This guy sure can't take a beating, huh? And then it starts you in a horrible camera angle, so you can't even see when he's gonna punch you. Oh. 
Really? Come on, Sammy, not so gentle. Anytime I can get a successful dodge in, he dodges then my punch and punches me again. I'd hate to be you right now, asshole. <laughs> Yup. I hate this whole like fighting mini game thing. The dodging just doesn't work half the time. Like there or there. Just kill me at this point. I'm already so far behind in this fight, it doesn't really matter. Wow, I gotta dodge in to just come right back and get my butt handed to me. Or just stand there. Nope. Why dodge? Why? Why? Why would you do it? You know, I, I don't know. Why would you even move? Just stand there in one spot. Why is it that they take so many more punches though to kill than I do? It's so. It's so unbalanced too, like. Oh, that had to hurt. Well, I mean, you can't, you can't fight a guy when you can't see him. Come on, Sammy, not so gentle. This is gonna be a messy one. Oh, that had to hurt. This guy sure can't take a beating, huh? This is gonna be a messy one. Yup. Yup. Oh, that had to hurt. Hey. And now I'm back in the corner and I can't get out. There we go. I hate this. The game always starts out unfair because it, you don't let you see where you're going. I still can't get in a good position. Come on, Sammy, not so gentle. Come on. Come on. Come on, Sammy, that's so gentle. Ah. 
had it down there for a second. Yeah, get back, come at him with that strong punch. That seems to be working, but it's just not. There we go. Stay in cover. Where'd he go? Come on out and fight. Will you get me down, please? Thanks, Nito. We owe you one. Eddie sent you? Yeah, he noticed he was a couple of guys shy at roll call. Okay, I didn't do anything there. Shit. Poor Frankie. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Beans, stay here. And don't come out until we come get you. Okay, just don't forget about me. Okay, fellas? <laughs> Fuck you! You missed me! Kill this <laughs> will you? a bit annoying there Come here, you little all right Vito let's get that little fuck that was annoying though how they like came little running over here and left me pants. no cover Next. A lot of guys with a lot of guns are already on their way over. And they can wait. What's he doing over here? Oh jeez. See ya down there. There's definitely like a bit of an aim assist here. One more to go. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, 
Okay, I see you now. All right. Nice job. Now let's go get that little cocksucker. Knock, knock. Come on. Let me in. Gonna be able to open it like this. Yeah, we need something heavy, like a like a battering ram. I know. We'll use that cart. We could just go around outside and probably shoot him through the window, too. Come here, you fuck. Leave me alone! Leave me alone, you fucking show you what it feels like, you know You fucking son of a bitch! But I'm gonna have a little fun with Loco before I grind him up. Wanna join me? Thanks for the invitation. I think I'll pass it. Uh, uh, huh? No, just hate the sight of Luca. I hear you, but you're missing out. I think I'm gonna try out that cattle prod he was yapping about. Uh, yeah, Eddie wanted me to take care of him personally. Don't worry about that. It'll just take a little longer this way. This fuck don't deserve a quick death. I can't argue with that. Okay, I'm gonna go. I stink like an outhouse. I gotta get cleaned up. And tell Eddie he don't gotta worry about Luca. Yo, Beans, open the door. It's all over. You... You're still alive? Yeah. What'd you expect? Look, before we go home, you wanna give me a hand with Sleeping Beauty here? You know... That's not such a bad idea. Okay. Now we have to... Go to Eddie's. The fighting, the dodging, like, it's, it just doesn't work sometimes, at least for me, I don't know. It's frustrating, because it's, like, I get it, but then, like, then the game, like, restarts you there, and, they, like, you can't even see him. The camera angles are just terrible at times. It's not just the, the fighting camera angles, just the whole game in general. Has some really weird camera angle issues. Sometimes it'll be just like really close and you can't even see the character. And I'm glad I didn't hit anyone. I really just don't want to have to deal with the uh, cops here. Okay, we are here. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Was that you? Vito? Oh, Jesus! Why didn't you take a fucking bath before you came back? You told me to come right back when I was done. You think I'm enjoying this? Okay, okay, okay. What happened with Luca? It's done. All right. How about our guys? You find them? Yeah. Luca had him in the slaughterhouse. Frankie's dead. But balls and beans are fine. Luca was, uh... Interrogating them when I got there. Any witnesses? Well, except for a dozen or so whoa, of Luca's whoa. bodyguards who hey, ran back, into nobody. Back up, okay? It was rough, Eddie. Yeah, it sounds like it got pretty hairy. But hey, you pulled it off and you got out of there in one piece, right? So go get cleaned up before you ruin everybody's appetite. And burn those fucking clothes you're wearing. My God. A good afternoon. Oh. Oh. 
Mr. Scaletta, what happened to your clothes, huh? That's kind of cool. How he like acknowledges you always welcome you. the what happened from the mission. Okay, that's weird. There's like two things there on the map. Okay, so it's like Don't like that crap on me. Where are we going? In here? Good after. Ugh, what is that unholy stench? The finest clothing available, if you can afford it. Okay, so no pants. Come back any. This was our car, yeah. So I guess we could have gone to the store to buy something new, or we could have gone back to our apartment to change. The store was closer. Hey, Vito, you made it. Hey, Eddie. Oh, nice threads. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan, fellas? What's with the suits? Vito, Mr. Falcone is gonna bring us into the family tonight. You and me, we're gonna be made. No oh, shit. Tonight? Yeah. Really? Why didn't you tell me before? What do we gotta do? You'll find out. But first, there's somebody who'd like to have a little word with you. Leo, good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I want to talk to you about what's going to happen today. Come here, have a seat. All right. <sighs> sure. And hey, thanks again for doing whatever you did to get me out of the can early. You now I make good on my second promise to you. Second promise? Yeah. I told you the next time we opened the books, we'd recommend you, didn't I? And now it's done. You had something to do with this, but you work for Frank Vinci. Yeah. I would have liked to have had you in our family. But I figure Joe there is your best friend. You guys grew up together. Just like me and Frank. Since Joe was working for Carlo the whole time you were inside, I recommended they take you in too when he got made. Thanks, Leo. I, I don't know what to say. You don't gotta say nothing. Not to me or anybody else. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. All right. I'll see you fellas upstairs. What was that all about? Nah, nothing. Just, you know, talking about old times. Like that time when old Leo dropped the soap. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Let's go. These are like two school kids, I swear to God. All right, wait here. 
Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? Joe, come on in. Hey. Good luck. All right, your turn, Vito. Gentlemen, this is Vito Scaletta. Vito, know that this family of ours is a secret. You are entering the Society of the Chosen, a society which does not exist to the rest of the world. Our family means more to you from now on than your own family, or God, or your country. If I ask you to kill your own brother, you must do it. Show me. Which finger would pull the trigger? Repeat after me, Vito. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... May my soul burn in hell. Just like this saint. May my soul burn in hell. Just like this saint. Amico Nostra. Gentlemen, I give you our new friend, Vito Scaletta. I am very pleased to have these two talented and honest men join us. And I'm happy this has happened in the presence of our esteemed guests, especially Don Frank Vinci. And his consul You might wonder why I'd take this risk man. again after spending you almost seven years in a can. You see, where I grew up, the only guys who mattered were the guys who had the balls to take what they wanted. You will receive payment for your services from Eddie. Would you like to add anything, Frank? Whatever you do, gentlemen, stay away from the dope. No dope. That's our policy. You can make plenty of money. And after years of doing everybody else's dirty work, too many risks. I was willing to risk anything to finally be somebody. And the audio's all messed up again. That's nice. Unless there's just no audio in these sequences, but... I would find that hard to believe. The process of getting into the family was much more simply for s simply was much more simple for Tommy than it was for Vito. So Tommy was just like, "Oh yeah, you want to join the family? Okay, yeah, cool." Okay, so we are in a new place. So we got like our own little house here, it looks like, instead of an apartment. Not very clean, at least the kitchen. Maybe the rest of the house though seems to be fine. They won't let me open the door. Guess we gotta change our clothes first. I was gonna go outside and see what it looked like outside. 
Fell on the water. Nice. Alright, so that's going to do it though for this episode of Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. If you enjoyed it, then leave a like. Thanks for watching, and until next time, so long everybody.